Hello everyone and welcome to SC Geek Bootcamp. I am your host, the software engineer, and today we're going to be talking about looping statements. So sit back and download a cup of knowledge because SC Geek begins now. So in this episode, we're going to be talking about collections. For this uh, episode, while I'm talking about collections, this uh, topic has, uh, there's way more to it than I'm going to be going over in this particular episode for the boot camp series. Um, it has a lot more depth than I'm going to get into here. So I'm going to keep it to a limited scope of just lists and maps, jokes for nerds. Uh, so one of the, uh, one of the more important, uh, structures in programming is lists. The ability, cause you know, just in general light life, we create lists of things all the time. Uh, we, you know, go over them and things of that nature. So I'm going to show you how to create lists. That's the first thing I'm going to talk about now in the, the, in the programming world, there are two uh, main types of lists. There's array-based lists and linked lists. And I'll tell you the pros and cons of each, um, which is actually a very good uh, interview question for programmers uh, because more uh, lesser experienced programmers will not know the usually don't know the difference or won't be able to communicate it that well. Um, even though primarily when you do real programming, you'll use array lists all the time and you'll hardly ever use linked lists. Um, but there is an appropriate time and place for linked lists. It's just, uh, it, with my experience, it's not needed most of the time. But I'll talk about the differences. So first is an array-based list. And this is just, you know, mocked up. Uh, yeah, this is actually uh, valid groovy code right here. And I show you a list. I have uh, numbers one, two, three in a list right here. And they have an index, which is 0, 1, and 2. So the first one, uh, first thing in the list has an index of 0. So I can reference this particular element by the index of 0. And I can pull that actual element out of it and you know get access by this number. So it gives you like uh, instant access to anything in the list as long as you know uh, the index of you know the element that you want to pull out of a list. So that means you know array lists are usually particularly fast. Um, the one drawback to uh, array lists is uh, you know in sorting because you have to pull things out and you know basically I would have to you know say put one element in say a temporary variable and move this one over and pull it out of a temporary variable back here. So, you know, it, it makes uh, sorting um, a, a much more expensive task. Um, but adding on to a list is, you know, no big deal. So we also have linked list, which they have a slightly different structure. This is just, uh, you know, not, not how, you can how you define it in programming. Uh, even within Groovy, but you know, we just for the sake of argument to talk about it, I have the same list, but the underlying structure is a little different. So you have your element, say this is element zero, and then that also has a pointer which points to the second element, which points to the third element, which you know has index two. So they have the same indes indices, but they have pointers between the elements. Now, this one of the things that this means is if I want to rearrange this list, I just change where the pointers are actually pointing to, and so that makes like uh, linked lists much better for sorting or rearranging. Uh, you know, it makes it more performant in that respect. Now, if I want to um, actually iterate over this list, um, you know, same thing applies. I just go down the list. Um, in some languages, you have to, you know, create special things in order to actually iterate over a list, but um, that's more complicated than, uh, it, it's kind of over the head of just basic programming, I would say, for now. That would be like a, a second level, you know, course. Um, well, second level from what I'm teaching in these boot camp episodes anyways. Um, 
so uh but one of the the uh so so that's kind of like the differences between you know an array list and a link list um so let's let's move on so we can define a list here this is the way you define a uh, an array list in Groovy. It gives you this very simple syntax, which looks just like a list. And actually, as I told you, this is you know valid syntax right here. So if I wanted to like pre uh, pre assign uh, things into a list, I could just you know have that. And now I have a list that has the elements you know the integers one and two. But for just uh, for now, I'm just going to have this you know empty list right here. And this is how you would actually define a linked list. Now, this is going uh, more back to the Java syntax, which in Groovy, uh, you can use full Java syntax, but it's obviously much more verbose. It doesn't give you like a shorthand uh, shortcut like it does for array lists. That's because array lists are used a lot more than linked list. Um, because they well, the other thing I, I, I meant to say was uh, it gives you instant access to any of the particular elements, which is actually very important when you're you know in, in programming. Uh, whereas with a linked list, you do not have instant access to say the second element. You actually have to uh, you know go from the first element to the second element to actually get here. So e even just going to a particular element, can be more expensive with a linked list as opposed to an array list. So basically we have our basic we have our list right here and what we could do is we could do let's get rid of the linked list cuz just changes you know so, some basic things I just wanted to mention the differences. So one thing we're we're going to do is we're going to take our list and we're going to do a dot add we're going to add the number, say, 1. And then we're going to print line the list. So what this is doing is, is adding to the list the number 1. And if I run this, we'll see we have now have a list with the number 1 in it. Uh, ignore this result. That's actually coming from the map down here. Actually, I should just uh, comment that out, rerun it. So now we have the list with one element in it. We can also, uh, let's say, one of the other things we can do is we can also do list and do waka waka and two. This is a uh, short hand term uh, and we get the elements one and two. Now what we can also do with this is I told you that we can actually get access to these different uh, variables in it, uh, these different elements, I should say, not variables. And what we could do is say we wanted the first element, which is at the zero index, and then we could print out the second element, which is at the first index. We run this. Oh. I did print instead of print line. So let's just put those back in here because obviously that looks confusing. It looks like we have 12 instead of 1 and 2 here. So we can do that. All right, that's all fair and good. What if we give it something you know that's beyond outside the index and run that? Well, that gives you null. This, uh, depending on the language, can you know you can have different results. In here, uh, we actually get null rather than, uh, you know, a uh, like out of bounds exception. A lot of languages you would just get an out of bounds exception, um, but Groovy does not do that, so you just get null back. Um, what we could also do is give it a negative number. If we run that, we get two. So it, you can actually go backwards from the end of the list and you know pick up different parts of the list. So this is how you can do just some basic interactions um, with lists. So let's see, what else? We can add, we can also do a list.remove and we'll give it the index of zero and we'll print the list, run that. 
And now obviously see since we removed the zero index, which was one, we now are just left with two. So you can actually add and remove things from a list. Uh, there's also uh, a whole bunch of uh, different things that you can actually do with lists based on the fact that they are a collection. Um, there's, uh, if you actually looked up the um, Java JDK collection, there's a whole bunch of uh, different uh, methods that you can use with lists uh, that are just built right into them. Obviously, I use remove and add, but there's a bunch more. Um, you know, to actually, you know, iterate over the list. Um, and actually, that's something I'm going to talk about in a future episode is how to actually go over these lists and print them out. Uh, rather than, you know, obviously we can just, you know, pull out individual elements here. Um, see, that's pretty much all I want to talk about for the list for now. So let's move on to maps, which is another very important concept in uh, programming. So a map, uh, also called a dictionary uh, in some respects, uh, is basically it allows you to say give uh, keys. So I'll, I'll give this like a key and I'll give this a value. Um, now I used uh, like uh, numbers up here but you can just as easily put you know anything into a list. Um, just as we could in a in a map as well. So now I have a map, and actually let's get rid of all the list stuff and just clean this up a little bit. So let's actually print out the map, run that. So we have a map of key and value. So we could also just keep going and have key two and give that a value. If we run that, you can see that now we have, you know, key has, you know, value, which is a string. Key two has a value, which is an integer. Um, usually you probably don't want to mix and match the types you have in a map, but, you know, this is just for demonstration purposes. So this allows us to actually create things that, you know, within a map, like it basically a map is a good, uh, it's a good way to make uh, lookups. So that's one thing we can do. Uh, just as with uh, the list, we can also add things to a map using um, put, which is this, this is more of the Java way of doing it. I'll show you uh, a little different syntax that Gro Groovy gives you. So we can put and ha say have uh, key three and we're going to put that, uh, say, as the value 3, which is just a string, and print the map out again. If we run that, we get an exception. No such property, key 3. Oh, yes, because uh, when we're doing a put, you know, unlike up here that does the actual, you know, it actually takes these as uh, string keys, we can't actually do that, so we actually have to put quotes around this. And if we run that again, now we have key three it is value. So uh, let's see. We can also do um, let's do a map. Oops, map dot move. I think, and we'll do. Uh, key two and close those quotes run that and obviously we remove that key from the map so you can actually add and remove keys and I told you that I was going to show you a shortcut way of doing a put so I'll do a map and we're going to use uh, let's say key and we're going to assign into that the value one and we'll run that and ah again have to actually use the quotes around this and see we ch actually change the value of that key to the value one so 
that's pretty much all there is to maps. Uh, they are very useful. Uh, actual, I, I should call it. I, I guess I'll call this a data structure. Uh, they're they're a very important way of being able to store and retrieve things uh, when programming, and they come in very useful just as lists do. Uh, one of the things that make these very uh, very useful is that you can uh, make a bunch of lookups and have them in a map. And uh, the accessing a particular key in here is actually very quick. Um, you know, it gives you instant access, very similar to an array list, but uh, you actually define what the indices are by ha saying what the keys are. Um, so that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about for collections uh, for now. Um, like I said, there's a lot more to collections than I went over here. Um, you might want to see the... Uh, the other groovy uh, videos that I did, which I'll go into more in depth in cl collections after you finish the boot camp series. Uh, and even there's even more beyond that. But that's pretty much all I wanted to say for now. So 